Okay, so this is my first video that I've ever tried to make. Um, I just wanted to share this amazing technique with you uh, that I need to credit Sandy Alnock for of how to make shaker cards the easy way in one of her videos. She thought everybody knew this trick. And she's the only person I've ever seen that has done this. So first of all, I want to show you Okay, the light is not great, but I want to show you this first shaker card that I did. Um, I made this for an exchange on Split Coast Stampers, um, and it was a pain in the butt because I was trying to cut out the light bulb shame shapes out of uh, fun foam, which normally is a good technique if you're using circles and squares, but um, with this, I had a Sizzlitz die for this and it just didn't really work for me to cut out my light bulb shape. So anyhow, I'm happy with how this um, card turns out, but I still have five more to make because I'm doing a shaker card exchange. So I want to show you, I've been procrastinating, um, but I want to show you, I finally gave in and decided to just use my, fun, my um, foam tape. Um, so first of all, I just took this is the, I only had a roll this size, so I just split it down in half because you don't need, you just need a thin amount around. Um, so if that looks funny, that's why. Sorry about that. And then what I did is I'm going to show you, it ends up looking like this. So you take your strip of fun foam and you just position it all the way around. You do these little snips in it and you're able to manipulate it really, really easily. So I'm going to try to show you how I did this on my last card. Um, I think I'm going to turn this off for a moment while I get set up and I will be right back. Um, I believe I'm recording again. Now I've cut out a strip of fun foam. I had measured it out on my first one so that I didn't waste any and knew approximately how much I needed. So this is going to look a little funny because I'm actually covering up oops, sorry, the base of the light bulb. That's why there's a strip of foam tape across there. Um, as you may remember on my original completed shaker card. See, oops, see, I covered up the base, so there's no need to have beads going down in there. Okay. Okay. So, I think I'm ready. My battery died. Couldn't find. I have two big packs of batteries. you think I could find either pack in my craft room? No. Hopefully, these ones will last. So, I've got my strip here that I measured out earlier on my first one, so I have the about the right amount. So, I'm just going to start like this. So, remember, I'm covering over that little part. Okay. And then... Sorry, I really suck at this. You're just putting a little snip there and turning it around your shape. Oh, okay, of course that one broke off because it's on camera. This is the first one of all the ones I did. No, that's not true. I had one that broke earlier too. The beauty about it, if it doesn't break, is that then you can just take um, the release tape off in one fell swoop instead of having to peel every single little itty bitty release tape off. That is why I was trying to use the sheets of fun foam because I find it really annoying peeling off all the release tape. I know it looks like I'm not going to make it. Sorry, can you see? I hope you can see. I hope I haven't just been talking to myself all this time. And, of course, my batteries died again, and I realized that the light was causing super crazy glare. So, back to the last piece. I did my last snip, and I'm just going to rotate it around. And, of course, there's a little gap there, which is not supposed to be there because I'm doing this live. Um, as much as possible, you want to close the gap so that stuff doesn't escape, especially in this case because I'm doing um, glass beads. They're kind of tiny, so they could escape out that little hole. But... I hope this was helpful. Um, I literally did a whole schwack of these in hardly any time at all. So I'm going to put them all out there for you to see. I did all of these, and this was my first one, and then I realized that I should probably do smaller bits because it went so much easier that way. Um, so anyhow, that's it from me, and hopefully they will all look... 
fantastic just like this, and the people that are getting the swap will be happy with them. All right, I'm out for now. Thanks. Bye.